Hello, it's Marion Stewart. I think I'm live. I'm not sure. It didn't come up to say I'm live, but I wanted to come on and talk to you about the fact that it is possible to recover from the symptoms at the time of the menopause. I was uh, drawn to this subject today because I saw Debbie Fallon's post and I've put her, um, I've tagged her so that you can have a look at her post because Debbie's been following my recommendations since February. I've never met her and she's just picked up some information, obviously probably from my book and from the posts on this site and she's managed to get herself onto a completely different way of eating. She's including naturally occurring estrogen in her diet. She's taking out the things that are going to impede the absorption of good nutrients. And she's doing some exercise and relaxation. And she's selected some supplements for herself from the recommended supplements that have been through clinical trials. And the result is that she's been able to reduce her HRT dramatically by down to about a third. And she's planning to come off the rest this month and she's feeling significantly better in herself. So that's music to my ears. That's what I like to hear. That's what happens with my patients. And when I set this group up, I set it up with the intention of having that happen to all the members of the group. So I really wanted to draw your attention to the fact that you don't need to go on suffering. But what you do need to do is understand that this isn't a magic solution. And you need to actually come to understand all the different aspects of the program. It's a program I pioneered with my team at the Natural Health Advisory Service. And it was over 25 years ago. And we gradually added to it and refined it as research permits, as new research is published, new findings come out. And there's so many amazing tools now that we can use that help us to overcome our symptoms, no matter what they are, whether it's depression, whether it's anxiety, it's fatigue, whether you've put weight on around the middle and you don't know how to lose it again, whether you're sweating and having hot flushes and night sweats, insomnia, all of the symptoms that, you, that stop you in your tracks can be controlled and you can overcome them so that you are absolutely symptom free and that's i think that's really really important for women to understand midlife isn't the beginning of the end it's a whole new beginning if you know how to meet your needs and that's what this is all about so really take on board the fact that you first of all you don't need any guesswork anymore because i've done it all for you i've got all the research in one place so that you can come to understand how you overcome your symptoms Yes, you're going to need to put some work in because it isn't, I don't have a magic wand. So you're going to need to follow the instructions. And there will be some sacrifices you need to make along the way. And maybe that's not for you. If you're one of those people who just wants a magic pill, this is not for you because it isn't a magic pill. But it is really effective and it does really help people to overcome their symptoms and get back into the driving seat so that you can actually feel well again. You can feel like yourself again. You can feel like a good partner. You can feel like a productive work person. You can feel like a good mom or grandma because you've got the energy to enjoy your life and you really have got renewed well-being. And it's terribly important because it's not just at the time of the menopause where the symptoms knock us sideways um, and life becomes different and difficult because we don't, we're not in control anymore. Once you've controlled all that, you need to learn how to keep yourself in the driving seat so that you can cruise through the rest of your life. And believe me, many of us have lots of extra years to look forward to, much more so than our ancestors. And you need to know that you're going to be in good shape, that you're not going to be at risk of osteoporosis, you're not going to get heart disease, you're not going to suffer with dementia. Because life isn't really worth living unless you've got good quality life. And a lot of the research shows that not only will it help you to overcome the short-term symptoms of the menopause, but it also helps to protect us against those awful conditions that can happen to us when we're no longer protected from estrogen after the menopause. It's so, so important to learn how to meet your needs. I can't stress enough. And it's like night and day. It makes so much difference if you know how to meet your needs. So please, make sure you've got the information. Get hold of the book, read the articles, read the things that are in the files on the group, and come to the workshops when, when I have them. Get your questions answered and get yourself on track to a new, a whole new life, a whole new you after the menopause. And sometimes when people go into an 
early menopause, you can actually turn the clock back because there's lots of things associated with early menopause. There was a new piece of research last week showing that if you've got good levels of calcium and vitamin D, you can delay the onset of an early menopause. And my experience is that if you've got good levels of nutrients generally, that's the case too. And I've had lots of patients who've got their periods back again once they've got themselves into good shape so you don't need to just give in and accept what's happening to you and think it's all part of being a woman or a foregone conclusion because you're in your 40s or 50s you can actually take control once you know how to meet your needs and you can get right back to feeling well again so please come and participate ask me questions get the information drink it up with the book you get the film get fit for midlife and we're going to have some other things coming in the next few weeks. There's going to be um, a boot camp coming. Just, I just want you to have the information so you can get well again. So hopefully I've given you some hope. And thank you to Debbie Fallon for sharing her story with us. And any other, any other stories, please share them too. We love to hear them. Thanks very much.